This video will go over the programming and key installation points of the Noritz External Recirculation Pump Kit. Please review all warning and caution instructions throughout the installation guide before proceeding. In the manual, you will see a list of the included parts that come with your kit. So, let's get started. The first step is to turn off the water heater remote and unplug the heater's power supply. Next, shut off the hot and cold water supply by using the isolation valves, as well as the gas line connected to the water heater. Note the plumbing diagram and maximum equivalent distances for 3 quarter inch and half inch return lines. Please take note of the configuration you want to install the pump in. The pump should be mounted so the arrow at the bottom of the pump is pointing towards the heater. Here are some of the examples of the acceptable and non-acceptable positions, which are listed in the installation guide. A good rule of thumb is to not have the face of the motor point up in the air, down at the ground, or off axis, as this could burn out the motor. After the pump is installed with your plumbing's recirculation system, locate the pre-assembled power wire from the pump. Next, remove the front cover of the heater. Now, feed it through the wiring throughway located at the bottom of the water heater. Locate the pump control connection wire in the heater. Look for a white connection wire with a tag reading water valve or pump. Then attach the green ground wire from the pump's power connector to the metal case in the water heater. This now completes the wiring portion of your Noritz recirculation pump kit to the Noritz water heater. Next, we will install the kit's supplied remote. This designated remote is required for programming your recirculation system. Start by disconnecting the heater's existing remote by removing it from the blue wire connector. Connect the newly supplied pump kit remote using the same prior remote wire on the heater. The NR83 DVC and NR98 DVC models have the remote installed in the front cover. Do not physically remove this now inactive built-in remote. Disconnect the internal remote wire and feed the new remote wire through the bottom of the heater. Connect the new remote wire to the heater remote wire connection. Now, plug in your Noritz heater and turn on the remote. By default, the pump will have no schedule, so we will go over the remote scheduling and programming functions. First, the clock must be set in order to program the recirculation mode. Let's go through this process. Press the menu button on the inside cover of the remote. In the following screen display menu, select Set Clock using the Enter button. Note that 000 indicates 12 noon. Select the current time by using the up and down arrow buttons. Set the clock time and press the Enter button to save the adjustment. Now with the time properly set, we can move on to setting the recirculation system scheduling. Press the Menu button on the remote. Select Recirc menu noted on the display and press Enter when selected. In the next screen, select Recirc Timer, then press Enter. Next, choose a start and end time by using the arrow keys to select the start time in one hour increments. When the desired time is highlighted, press the Enter key, now select the end time and press Enter to complete the recirculation schedule. In the event you want to reset timer selections, you can select Reset, which will clear all time schedules. If you would like to add another recirculation time schedule, highlight Add and press the Enter button. This will take you back to the Recirc menu to set up another schedule for the pump to run. This will also show the time you previously scheduled. To make another schedule, select the Start and End times the same way as you did at first. Press the Enter key to proceed. You will be taken back to the Timer Set, Add, Reset menu. Select the Timer Set option to save your recirculation schedule. This concludes the setup and installation of the Noritz External Recirculation Pump. Thanks for watching.